Hi. Hi, 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 David. Sir David the Bard. I'm coming from you from uh, Bangor, Maine. Uh, it's cold up here. Boy, we get snow in Bangor, so I'm hiding behind a great big snow plow. So the, lame, uh, the Lamanites <laughs> and the, the Danites and any of the other ites that are trying to get me can't find me. They can't find me until spring and it will melt away. Now listen, I just wanted to drop something on you that uh, I may be being stupid here. I don't know. Bipolar people, we come up with shit and maybe common people don't. The World War II, um, I wasn't around. I was born in 1948. I was about three years after the war. But I've seen pictures. <laughs> okay. So I'm an expert. Okay, Here's what I say. We had the Berlin airlift when the, I think it was the Russians, uh, cut off Berlin. Um, the people were going to starve to death and they cut their supply lines and their roads, their bridges, whatever. Well, the United States said, hey, that ain't going to fly. Homie, don't roll that way. So we rolled planes over the top of Berlin and we dropped shit, man. We dropped tents and trucks and gasoline and all kinds of uh, food, etc., and the um, Berlin people survived. Now, they're saying in the Philippines they're having trouble getting food in because the roads are blocked. Well, that makes some sense. It's hard to drive uh, trucks and tractors and important equipment uh, and deliver food. Well, hell, why don't we drop it? Why don't we just drop it? You know, two 747s just came in, full of food and full of rations, at the airport. Everything in Cebu is at the airport. Everything in this Tagabon town is at the airport. For God's sakes, we can drop earth movers. We have parachutes, big ones. We can put together hundreds of packages of, of food for a couple of days. Just drop it where there's no water, of course. Drop it in some of the, and the people will come out of that damn airport and go get the food rather than rioting. And they had a riot there uh, last night, and eight people were killed, and they stole a hundred thousand bags of rice from a Filipino storage area. Well, I say we're being stupid. We have airplanes, we have helicopters, we have bumblebees. Just fly over the whole damn area and just drop shit. Tents, generators, food, water, uh, medical supplies, penicillin. God, just drop it. Then the slow recovery when the roads come back and we can get in and, and uh, you know, get the hospitals going again and the schools again. But the people are starving to death and they have no water. How would you like to go to the poo-poo outside? There's not even a bush that you can hide behind. Come on. We got tents. Go to Walmart. Go to, uh, I want to say Big River, <laughs> Home Depot. <laughs> My daughter, Allison, says, it's the Home Depot, Dad. It's not Depot. I go, well, that's the way they spell it. She said, well, they're stupid. Yeah, there she is, the Bard's daughter. But for God's sakes, if anyone's watching my program, put the damn shit on an airplane or a helicopter like a fire. We drop water all the time in California on fire. Why can't we drop pillows, blankets, tents, give these people some shelter, some clothing? We go to, you know, DI. Um, <laughs> Well, DI wouldn't donate any clothes. We'd go to um, Goodwill, and uh, we'd get some clothes. And just drop that shit out there. Come on. Airlift. Americans know how to do this. We have nice parachutes. And they have lawlessness, lawlessness going on. Drop some of the Marines in parachutes. And have them stand around the food and go, hey, hey. It's the criminal element of the Philippines that's getting in front of the women and children and stealing the food. A few uh, Marines in there probably would stop that crap. So the Bard says drop it. Load it up and drop it. Maybe I'm an idiot, but you know, I'd much rather have a tent and a blanket come from the sky than stand there freezing in the Philippines. Thanks.